Welcome to the VHF UHF channel. And of course, I posted a video where I was talking about my daily, my, you know, I tried so many times today to get the International Space Station amateur repeater with the downlink of 437-800. Uh, I had kind of 10 seconds on the previous one. People said, hey, there's no audio clip. Of course, by the time I hit the record button, it was already over. But there was another pass of the International Space Station, which was about an hour and a half later. And of course, I did try it. And I was not expecting much because honestly, that first pass that I had 10 seconds was 63 degrees. That second pass that I tried was barely 25 degrees high. It was very low to the north. But even though it was low, you know, I always tell everybody you should try you should try stuff and you should not listen to, you know, the guy saying, well, it's too low, it's not going to work, or that propagation should not be here, or I'm the guy that always says to everybody, try it. You know, what do you got to lose? You won't hear anything. So what did happen? Well, look at that, guys. I have the recording here. So let's go here into the recorder. And this is what I got at uh, 6 p.m., a little past 6 p.m. local time, which is 22.06 UT, from the International Space Station, I was tuning to 437.800, and uh, you could see the frequency here at the bottom. It says 437.803 where I started. And uh, you know what? And the rest is pretty much uh, static, but hey, I've got some activity and actually a signal that was good enough for some uh, listening of the repeater. So it works and there's some activity and I think it just needs to have the right positioning. It's interesting because it made me uh, think about something. When I was listening to the VHF repeater on, uh, this, um, on, on the space station for Slow Scan TV, one of the things I always noticed is that when the space station is passing north of me, I always get a better signal than when the space station was passing to the south or really directly overhead. And it's interesting because that pass was very low, 25 degrees, uh, something like that. But it was a west to east passing north and it was better. So I don't know if it's the um, directional pattern of the antenna aboard the International Space Station that might be actually better suited for me when the signal comes from that side. But it's really cool that what you just heard was actually coming from the International Space Station amateur radio repeater. So if you want to listen in, 437800 Plus or minus Doppler, so when it actually arrives, it's probably like, you know, 437.805. And when it actually is at the end of its pass, you're at 437.795. Uh, you got to adjust it if you can. If you have a regular scanner, it's kind of difficult because most of these regular scanners have 5 kilohertz steps. But uh, you can, you know, manage to still listen to it. So uh, kind of a success here in receiving 
the International Space Station Amateur Radio Repeater. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.